Mr. Speaker, in February alone, 14,000 Albertans lost their jobs. Then last week, another 1,000 job losses were announced in the energy sector. Now, last year, the Prime Minister emphatically stated that it would be crazy to impose carbon emission standards given the fragility in the energy sector. But then he surprisingly told Peter Mansbridge that he was musing about a carbon levy. When will Canadians hear more details about the Prime Minister's proposed multi-billion dollar job-killing carbon tax, levy, <laughs> tech fund, or whatever else he decides to call it? The Honourable Minister of the Thank you, um, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I think this side of the House, we've been very clear on the carbon tax. We will not introduce the NDP and or the Liberal carbon tax. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The Honourable Member for Edmonton, St. Albert. Since coming into office in 2006, the government has spent nearly $750 million on government advertising. Now, some of it admittedly is quite helpful, such as informing Canadians of new programs, assuming that those programs actually exist, or health and safety risks. But others are pure shilling for the government's agenda and partisan objectives. Does the government that brought us the Accountability Act not believe in protecting taxpayers from using public dollars advancing partisan ends? Speaker, I'm sure his constituents appreciate his sarcasm, but the truth is, Mr. Speaker, that we have an obligation to uh, ensure that uh, citizens are aware of government programs that may affect them uh, in their everyday lives, and we will continue to advertise these excellent government programs, which are in fact uh, increasing job opportunities, increasing infrastructure, doing the right things for Canadians. We're proud of that, and we will advertise the details to the Canadian citizens.